So this is the workout floor right here. And so let's just say you picked this specific station. The first thing you want to do is adjust your handles. It's just like any spin class, any rowing class, you want to adjust for your height. So the first thing you want to do, you want to pop your feet in. And then you bring your feet up to parallel. Now that your feet are parallel, the first thing you want to do, adjust the handles here. There's a handle with a button. You press the button in, you pull it out. Where do you place them? The general rule of thumb, when your arm is down, if you lift your arm up, you want your handle somewhere in this area, about shoulder height. So for me, if they were here, I would pop them up to the top, okay? And you do that for both sides. Grip is forward, and then your basic movement pattern, chest close, butt back a little bit, and then you just go up and down. not a stepper, so don't bounce. You don't want to go up and down, okay? You want to keep your core in one spot, one position, and your appendages, your legs and arms, go up and down. Second thing, don't hit the base, okay? Don't drop down to the base every time. You want to stay about an inch above the base, okay? Third tip, don't twist. You want to keep your vertebrae in line with the frame, okay? So you don't want to do one of these. Moving from side to side. Okay? You want to keep your vertebrae straight, again in line with the frame. Okay, is there anything else that you need to know? Uh, for the class, just listen out for the cues and follow along. That's really it. Okay? One other thing, your tension wheel is right here. Okay? All the way to the left, no tension, a little more aerobic. The more you turn it to the right, you get more into a strength-based workout, okay? More tension, less tension. Your on and off button is right here in the bottom right. When you turn the machine on, the two things we'll look at in this class, the number in the bottom left, which is the triple zero, that's your total feet climb. The number in the top right, that's your feet per minute. Now, what you want to do is focus on feet per minute. The higher that number goes, the faster you reach the feet per minute, the total feet climb, sorry. So you do that by having a full range of motion. You reach all the way up, all the way down. No short strokes. None of this, okay? We reach all the way up, all the way down. And the minute I do that, even though it looks like I'm going slower, I'm covering a lot more ground with each stroke. So it jumped up to 128, okay? Whereas if you do this, you're not going anywhere, but you're still expending a lot of energy. So the minute I slow down, but your feet per minute jumps up. So, that's all you have to think about. And like I said, for the class, just listen out for the cues, I'll be your instructor, and then just have fun, okay? Thanks.